Hi, Sherry here with a special invitation for all of you who are between the ages of 50 and 75 years old. I have a new series coming up. It's called Strong Bones for Midlifers. And why am I focusing on midlifers? Well, first of all, I'm 63, and I'm right in between that age of 50 and 75. And all of us in that age group, I bet you you're starting to think about your bone health, aren't you? You might have had some friends that have had some falls, maybe even some bone breaks. And maybe we've noticed some postures of some people a little bit older than us noticing that rounded posture. We don't want to have posture like that, right? It's all about keeping your bones healthy and strong as we get into our midlife. You might have gotten a DEXA scan, which tells you the strength and the health of your bones. You might have osteopenia. You might have osteoporosis. But guess what? Good news is your bones are living tissue. That means they can change. They can get better, and they're going to if you do the work with me in this series. So let me tell you how it's gonna work. I'm gonna be creating short practices. I've heard from a lot of you. One hour practices is a lot of commitment, isn't it? I know it is. So I do 10 to 20 minutes every single day in my own personal practice. I think that's a perfect amount of time because if we do it every single day, it'll pay off a lot better than one hour every now and then. So what we're gonna do is gonna have a 10 to 15 to 20 minute practice, and it's gonna focus on different aspects. Balance, of course. Holding, now you know I love the holds because the holds create strong bones because they create a little pressure on those bones and they create strong muscles too. So we'll do some holding, we'll do some balancing, and we'll definitely doing some flowing too. We're gonna be working on not just the bones of our legs but the bones of our wrists, our arms, right? Because they can break if we have a fall. We wanna get those strong. We're gonna be working on the bones in our spine to make sure that we keep that upright posture. Of course, we'll be working on the bones in our hips, our thighs, our ankles, and our knees as well. So this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna be using a chair. I always have a chair handy nearby. Now some of you, maybe your balance isn't quite like it used to be, right? Maybe you've got a weak knee, maybe you've got a weak hip. The chair is gonna be your friend. We're gonna use it throughout. I'll always invite you to use it, but I bet you if you do the work at the end of this series, you might not even need the chair. You might completely be able to do it without the chair and you will be very proud of yourself if you do. Don't worry if you have to use the chair. It's always there for support. Just remember, keep it safe, and always talk to your doctor about doing exercises like this to make sure it's safe for your body. So I hope you join me for this series. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'll be filming it outside. As you can see right now, I'm outside in my backyard, and I'll be taking a, a little tour around my backyard and just basically playing outside. So I invite you to do that. You know vitamin D is good for our bones too. So always feel free to take your smartphone or maybe your tablet outside and just listen to my voice, follow along with me, and do the work with me. So all you midlifers, are you ready to get some strong bones? Let's do it together. Namaste.